there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking love and marriage, Huntsville. You guys know why you are here. Today we are talking uh, because we need to get into some comments that Destiny has made in this new Blavity article that we are going to get into in a moment uh, in regards to Melody Sheree Rogers is what we'll focus on on this particular video and a couple of comments in regards to uh, the impact of social media on the show and uh, my thing is this I you have been you know in this space long enough to if somebody asks you a question and you really don't want to talk about it or you know you're gonna say something nasty or messy or a flat-out lie uh, there, there's a thing called no comment I'd rather not speak on that and all of the things however it seems that destiny enjoys the melody sheree rogers questions because it gives her an opportunity uh to flat out go in um for no reason right so let's get into the first question uh, as it mentions uh mel it says when we first met you on the show you came in as a friend of melody's mel and then um Th destiny says mel and martell you boys like like right off the jump no credit to mel at all has to be in unison with martell your friendship has gone south with melody there seems to be a theme on the show that our friendships are not sustainable is there something that we're not seeing behind the scenes about why she has not been able to sustain these friendships with the cast destiny says a hundred percent and patterns don't lie you guys oh my goodness then a follow-up question what do you attribute that to there's a lot of play on social media there's a lot of play on the blogs it's clearly coming from one side and that's my opinion i could be wrong but for me the only thing i can speak up on specifically is about our relationship and why it got to the place that it is because before i was very confused but as i had spoken out about my domestic violence and how i've had to come to grips with that being my reality one of the things that was said in public by mel was that i knew one side of the story and now i know the truth and i'm in support of the other party so for me it was like how do you go from supporting one woman being there for her through those times that she never even discussed publicly to publicly saying now i know the truth so for me it's kind of hard to bounce back from that uh, next social media plays a huge role in this show i feel like we found out more online from the actual show a lot of people are starting to say the show has just become extremely toxic what is your take on that i think that when a group of people are radicalized and there is no control then yes but you can also take a stance and when there's no stance taking or you're using those people to kind of like riot for you it makes it a different world and i feel like that's why i really believe in mental health I do mental health Mondays with my therapist and life coach. I think people are triggered by a lot of things that are happening on the show and they cling to certain people in certain situations because that's their own experience that they haven't healed from. And so they go into these comments or they start attacking your business or they start attacking your personal life. And it's because they can't see this isn't a soap opera. It is bits of pieces uh, of real life. Uh, uh, so here's the thing, Destiny. And then there's like a, a completely fallacy comment in there that she wants to brag that she's the first um, beauty supply store, black beauty supply store owner in Huntsville, Alabama. Can you make it make sense? Madani was open for five minutes, right? Uh, so let's get into, you know, what she had said, right? Like I said right off the bat, she's giving um, Mel zero credit, you know, solely for uh, her impact of helping uh, you get on the show. Again, feeding into this false narrative about Mel and these friendships. However, uh, what you don't say is that all of these people are friends of Martel's. These people were friends with Martel first and foremost. And because um him and mel were married at the time she got introduced to these wives of martel's friends right so they became friendly right because they started to see each other more frequently and all of the things but these are not mel's day ones these are not mel's ride or die friends in any capacity you guys 
Uh, and then also the, this victimhood of social media when you are the queen this season of going on every single podcast on social media to spew hatred and negativity and slander and defamatory statements, not only against Melody Sheree Rogers, but now also your ex-husband LeBaric, who in which you had said previously that you were never going to speak on and that there was a gag order and that you couldn't talk talk about your marriage or the breakdown of the marriage, but I guess it is open season to allege that LeBaric and Mel have something going on. But you do not want to take any ownership or accountability for your behavior filming at the debunked Cheesecake Factory with Martel and his side chick and the whole kids knowing that Mel can't even, you know, show her kids on social media thanks to martel and again this cast has played in mel's face because they have all at one point or another have known about this side chick or have been in cahoots with martel's side chick and still wanted to play in mel's face and call her a friend but a real one would have been like listen i know the side chick it's da 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 and then that could have been shut down immediately right but you guys seem to get a kick of elevating a 10-year side chick to spite Mel, to throw a dig at Mel, but now you want to play victim and say that it's the fan's fault, right? And here's the thing, as far as the DV situation, none of us have heard about the DV situation until recently. Like, we have not heard, this is the first time a lot of people are hearing for this for the first time, so... Why all of a sudden are we just going to immediately be like, listen, you know, what you're saying is the truth is the gospel when there's been so many things that you have said that were not truthful. And here, I'm always transparent that, listen, I take any type of SADV allegations very seriously, you guys. I, I don't discount any of it just because of who the person is, right? But in regards to this Destiny and Melody Sheree Rogers feud, it just seems as though she is just bent on, you know, completely trying to destroy any type of, you know, whatever reputation Mel has in the public, whatever, you know, entrepreneur spirit, her connections, uh, her being able to be booked and busy and in demand. It just seems anytime there's an opportunity, Destiny cannot keep out all of this negativity as it pertains to Mel. And you don't even have this level of smoke for even Sonny and Moses when it's all said and done, which is crazy, right? Because that's really what you should be upset about. But how are you going to come for Mel about whether she was there for you or not? But again, you couldn't even tell her that you were getting a divorce. And she had to find out through the media just like the rest of us. And furthermore, you claim that Mel was not talking to you or that she wasn't talking to you as frequently as you'd like. And she pulled the receipts to show the text messages that she was in fact reaching out to you, that she was in fact trying to get in contact with you and you were blowing her off. And furthermore, Mel distanced herself from you the moment she heard you and Letitia gossiping about her at the hotel room that she heard, right? So why would she continue to entertain you or entertain a friendship with you and now she's putting the pieces together that you were using your friendship with her to basically rat on her to Martel so Martel can utilize that time to continue on with his side chick, you guys. So, so you leave all of that part out destiny about your role in basically uh being you know the the friend the buddy of martel while he entertains his harem of women and then want to play in the face of, of the wife in this instance melody sheree rogers as if everything's okay as if everything is on the up and up right and this is the same woman who has given you thousands of dollars to help contribute to your bills and all of your you know your two utilities and, and everything else being cut off and this is the things that she gets because if here's the thing if she wasn't there for you she could have flat out said no when you asked for help right she could have flat out said find another way find somebody else to help you out financially with your bills but she didn't have to out of the kindness of her heart spend thousands of dollars to help you stay afloat with your bills and apparently uh, more people in the cast are still helping you stay afloat with your bills because you can't seem to manage any money 
You can't seem to get any of it together. What happened to meeting with Maurice about credit repair? Or was that just for a storyline for the show as well? Since we only see quote unquote bits and pieces of the real life. And what entrepreneur skills do you have right now, Destiny, when there are no businesses in sight, there's no real estate, anything in sight. All you are doing is relying on this reality TV show check in hopes that this is going to make you a star. And the ratings say otherwise, the ratings say, why did you come back in the first place? But I am just tired, you guys. I mean, at what point do any of these people have any accountability to say, listen, there were some errors on my part in the breakdown of the friendship as well. But the fact that you guys just go so hard and blaming Mel for everything, as if you guys are perfect, as if you guys have never made a mistake, as if you were not two-faced and said or did anything messy that was negative against Mel, I, I can't take you seriously. I cannot, right? And then to defend Martel, who is literally uh, putting out Revenge P, is showing this stuff to the castmates and, and all the things, and them and their family members are bragging about it, and all of the horrible things that Martel has done to Mel. And not once have you ever said that you disagree with this, that you feel that this is an issue, that you feel this is inappropriate, that Martel went too far. No, 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 no. Instead, you big up hanging out with Martel and his side chick. Like you guys are the best of friends. Like it's all good. Like it's all okay. No, 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 no. You're, you're not going to do that. But then have the audacity to try to slander Mel in these interviews. It, it, that's not how this is going to work, Destiny. And you wonder why you keep getting arrested. And you wonder why your financial situation isn't good to the point that you have to ask all these people to help you out, to stay afloat. That's not boss moves. That's not entrepreneur moves. That's broke moves. Can you make it make sense? So there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.